Should you shoot in 1080 or 4K? 4K 1080, it's one of those controversial topics and you know, because of topics like that, every minute here on YouTube, someone loses their shit in the comments. And I think if we listen very carefully, we might be able to hear someone lose it right now. No, 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 no. Oh, oh mm. poor guy. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, <laughs> Let me tell you what I think you should do, and I also want to clear up a few misconceptions. I actually wanted to go shoot outside today, but the weather is crazy again here in Belgium. A lot of wind and rain, so I thought it would be a good idea to give my opinion in the whole 1080 4K discussion. And just so you know, if you don't agree, that's totally fine. I'd love to hear why in the comments. Okay, now let's start with YouTube, because that's the key here, and we'll get to that later, but the key here is to make a difference between online content, YouTube, and let's say shooting a movie for Netflix. Look, I shoot all my videos in 4K these days. The day I bought my Sony a7S III, I went full 4K. Now, why you ask? Well, that's a very good question, because when we take a look at my YouTube analytics, here, see, I get most of my views from people watching on their smartphone or computer. Watching 4K on a smartphone is pretty much pointless, but also on computers, because when I watch YouTube on my laptop, for example, I almost never watch in 4K, unless I'm watching someone doing a 1080 4K comparison. So if you're into social media and online content, YouTube, 4K seems overkill. Also because I doubt that the few people who do watch in 4K would unsubscribe from your channel if you would upload a few videos in 1080 or that they won't subscribe to channels that only upload in 1080. Content is king, right? I mean, I could be wrong. People watching in 4K, let me know in the comments. Anyway, and then there's also YouTube compression. Look. For me, 4K here on YouTube is not real 4K. If the inventor of 4K, if there even is such a thing, probably not, but if the inventor of 4K had to sell his invention to some big companies, if he had to convince them of the benefits and the beauty of 4K, he would probably not show a YouTube 4K video. You know what I mean? When you know what real 4K looks like, then YouTube 4K is a disappointment. But that's okay, because it's YouTube. And you know, before my Sony a7S III, I was shooting with the Canon R5. But my computer couldn't handle the files, so I had to shoot in 1080. And then I upscaled those 1080 videos to 4K before I uploaded them to YouTube. But the thing is, it was high quality, high bitrate 1080. So you almost couldn't see the difference between upscale 1080 and 4K here on YouTube. No one ever noticed. And that's really important. Here on YouTube, because of that heavy compression, upscaled high quality 1080 almost looks the same as 4K. And very few people will notice any difference because so few people watch in 4K anyway. So is there any reason at all to shoot in 4K? Well, some say cropping. And actually, that's what I say too, because it's why I shoot most of my videos in 4K now. I can zoom in digitally, I can add some camera movement. You can be a little bit more creative, you know? Especially if you're a one-man band. But like I said, here on YouTube, because you do lose image quality. What you're doing is, you take a small part of that 4K image, and then you blow it up again to 4K. So you do lose image quality, unless your project is a 1080 project, of course. So definitely here on YouTube, because of all the things that I've already mentioned in this video, it's true that you can crop a 4K image and no one will notice the minimal loss in image quality. Because most people watch in 1080 or 720, even 480. But let's say that you're shooting for a client and that client asks for 4K real 4K, not an upscaled lower resolution. Well, would you feel comfortable zooming in and then blowing it up to 4K again and then delivering that as true 4K? Mm, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Will they notice? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how much you zoom in, of course. But I wouldn't feel comfortable delivering that to a client saying it's true 4K. You know what I mean? For a professional, 4K is 4K, period. I doubt if a Hollywood movie director would ever say, it's okay, we'll just zoom in digitally. What you should actually do then is shoot in 6K or 8K. But 
Not sure if that's, yeah, whatever. So when people say that you should shoot in 4K because then you can zoom in digitally, it's true, but it depends on the project you're working on and who or what you're shooting videos for. And it's not like you're not losing image quality if your final video has to be 4K. But all that being said, it is one of the reasons why I shoot my videos in 4K now for YouTube. But look, if your camera shoots high quality, high bitrate 1080, then you can also zoom in digitally. Here on YouTube, that's definitely not a problem. No one will notice it as long as you don't zoom in too much. And then finally, we also have the fact that 4K is more expensive because more storage, more processing power, and also still some cameras have problems with autofocus in 4K. It's slowly getting better, but not every camera has great autofocus when shooting in 4K. So should you shoot in 4K or 1080 then? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. I guess most professionals are shooting already everything in 4K because their clients will watch the, the final product on a 4K TV. But for most people, it just depends on the project you're working on and also personal preference. I think if nothing's holding you back, if your computer can handle it and if you don't mind paying for some extra storage, if your camera can handle it with the autofocus and everything, then there's not really a reason not to shoot in 4K, right? Because you're future proofing your videos. I don't know, 10 years from now, this might be a whole different discussion and maybe we're not even talking about 1080 anymore. I don't know, but right now, pretty much all TV stations also broadcast everything in 1080. There are some experiments going on now with 4K broadcasting and whatever, but 1080 is still like the main standard everywhere. My personal Netflix subscription is also HD and not 4K, and I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. 1080 still looks great in 2021. I would go for high quality, high bitrate 1080 any day instead of 8-bit uh, 4K. So don't worry if you're not shooting in 4K yet, because 4K is not gonna make your videos better, you know? Especially if you're an online content creator or a YouTuber. It's definitely not a must yet to shoot in 4K, unless you're a professional and someone specifically asks for 4K. That's it, I'm gonna stop here because I can feel that it's starting to become a rant again and you know what I think about rants, it's fun, but maybe less fun for you guys. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. <laughs>